Hey guys, Johnny here from TechMajesty.com. Today I'll be showing you how to unlock your Spectrum Samsung Galaxy Note 20 step by step using an unlock code. Now I'm going to show you this on the Samsung Note 20, but this method will work on the Samsung Note 20 Ultra and all other Spectrum Samsung phones as well. We can unlock your phone regardless of any outstanding balances, financing, leases, contracts, blacklist status, etc. The unlock will not affect your warranty, it will increase the resale value of your phone and you'll be able to use the phone with any GSM carrier of your choice. All you need in order to unlock the phone is an unlock code and a non-allowed SIM card which is basically a SIM that's not from your original carrier. So let's begin. The first thing we will need is the 15 digit IMEI number which you can get by going to the dialer of the phone and dialing star pound zero six pound. This will give you the 15 digit IMEI. So, now that we have the IMEI number of the phone, we will go on the computer and open the internet browser to go to techmajesty.com. Once we are on this website, we will place an order to unlock our Samsung phone. We will choose the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 since that's the phone we're unlocking today. Then, for the carrier option, you will choose the carrier your phone is locked to, such as AT&T, Cricket, Spectrum Mobile, Xfinity Mobile, etc. Then, you will go ahead and enter the 15-digit IMEI number that we got in the beginning of the video. After that, you have these three optional services to choose from. The first option will make your phone work on Verizon plus all other GSM carriers as well. If you only want to use the phone on GSM carriers after the unlock, then no need to choose this option. Second one is the bloatware removal service which will remove all carrier branding from your phone and make it into a stock Samsung phone. Then the third one is express processing to get your unlock done in one to two hours. Again, these are all optional services. Then you will go ahead and click on the add to cart button to go through the checkout process to complete your order. Once you complete the checkout, you'll receive an email within the stated time frame with your phone's unlock code. The email will look like this and say order and closed. And it will contain the unique unlock code for your phone and it will include full instructions on how to complete the unlock as well. So now that we have the unlock code, let's move on to entering it into the phone. In order for the unlock prompt to come up, we will insert a non-allowed SIM into the phone. So let's remove the SIM card tray and insert the non-allowed SIM card. I will be inserting a T-Mobile SIM card into the phone. As soon as I insert it into the phone, the unlock prompt will come up. And as you can see, the phone is asking for the network unlock code. So let me go ahead and enter the unlock code that I received from Tech Majesty. All right, so now that I've entered it, I'll click on the unlock button. And there you go, unlock successful. So that means the code was accepted. So guys, this phone is now permanently factory unlocked. It's as simple as that to unlock your Samsung phone and to start using it with any GSM carrier of your choice in the US or internationally. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe if the video helped you. Thank you so much for watching.